when robots get emotions like you just mentioned in the future, do you see robots living in a household like families do today, human families? I'm so glad you asked. This is one of my favorite topics, which I think makes sense right. All right, guys. Have you ever wondered when robots would finally do more than dance or vacuum your floor? Or do you remember those helpful robots from sci-fi movies, effortlessly folding laundry and whipping up breakfast? How far are we from such realities? These are the questions everyone is asking. What if robots could share their knowledge and experiences, learning faster than ever before? Welcome to the global project that's making that happen. It's called Project RTX, and it's not just about making robots smarter. It's about giving them a brain. Yes, this is actually making robots have a real brain. They can do multiple tasks by sharing your brain. Today, we are diving into how 34 labs around the world are working together to create a general purpose robotic brain. One that could revolutionize industries and maybe finally make robots good at folding laundry. This project has just run for only one year, but billions have been pumped in just to make a new kind of brain for the next generation of robots and the progress is remarkable. Believe it or not, Robots may achieve artificial general intelligence sooner than we thought. It is exciting, yet shocking news for us, but it is not unexpected when Google DeepMind get themselves involved in an AI project. They have previously developed AlphaFold, which can predict the structure of nearly every protein in the human body, as well as AlphaProof and AlphaGeometry 2, which achieved a silver medal level performance at the International Mathematical Olympiad in 2024 by successfully solving four out of six complex math problems. By the way, RT stands for Robotic Transformers, which are AI models designed to control robots and help them generalize across different tasks and environments. We will get back to all that in another episode. So, how close are we to robots that think and act like us? Let's find out. Imagine a world where robots don't just follow simple, pre-programmed tasks. They adapt to new challenges like cooking dinner one day and assembling furniture the next day. This is the dream behind the RTX project to create a brain that allows robots to learn from their experiences and get better at handling new situations. The goal is to have robots that can share their learning experiences. Think of the scenario. It is 2034, you are in your old apartment, your kids are all married, you are basically a lonely old human. Humanoid robots are a common thing, so you buy a robot in California that helps you clean up your kitchen and sort your laundry. Then Satoshi, who lives in Japan, also buys a humanoid robot that just gives him company. Then he asks the robot to organize his grocery. What will happen in this case is that the robot will connect to your robot in California and request to use the same brain your robot uses when sorting your laundry and use it organize Satoshi's grocery. Such kind of coordination is not just about making robots do more. It is about making them more intelligent. After all, robots can also collaborate. Do you think we are ready for such kinds of robotic interactions? So, you might be thinking like, if ChatGPT can write essays, why can't robots just learn from the internet? Well, robots are physical, so they need to interact with real-world objects. No amount of internet browsing will teach a robot to fold laundry or cook a meal. Robots need real data from real experiences, and that's where Project RTX comes in. RTX compiles over 1 million real-world trials from 22 different robot types, creating the largest open-source robotic dataset ever. This dataset includes common tasks like manipulating objects, assembling parts, and even more complex actions like cable routing. The key innovation here is that robots learn from each other's experiences, creating a shared brain across multiple platforms. So what kind of tasks are these robots learning to perform? Let us look at a few real-world examples. During one test in the RTX project, a robot was asked to place the apple between the can and the orange. This might seem simple, but it requires the robot to understand spatial relationships, identify objects, and execute the task with precision. The RTX brain learned to do this by drawing on the experiences of other robots that had practiced object manipulation in different labs. Another scenario is instructing the robot to put the strawberries in the correct bowl. The robot recognizes the strawberries, reasons which bowl is for the strawberries, and puts it right there. Thanks to the RTX brain, this robot could recognize the items, figure out where they should go, and execute the cleanup with minimal human guidance. These are not just isolated tasks. The goal is for robots to be able to handle an entire sequence of tasks like tidying up a room or preparing a workstation for the next task. These tasks are a significant leap from what robots were able to do just a few years ago. 
With a shared RTX brain, multiple robots across the globe are learning to perform these increasingly complex instructions. The backbone of the RTX project is its revolutionary use of transformer-based learning models similar to those used in language models like ChatGPT and Google Bard. The RT1 and RT2 models don't just memorize tasks, they generalize across different environments and robots, thanks to the data they are trained on. In fact, these models have shown 50% improvements in success rates compared to traditional task-specific systems. RTX is about more than just smart robots. It's about data sharing. The project pulls from over 1 million robotic trials collected from 22 different types of robots and 34 labs around the world. It is this vast pool of shared data that allows RTX to break through traditional robotic limitations. A robot in one country can learn from the experience of robots in another, leading to faster and more flexible learning. The RTX project is led by some of the world's top AI and robotics researchers, including DeepMind, Google, and University of California, Berkeley. With 32 other labs involved, this project is not just advancing robotics, it is redefining what robots are capable of on a global scale. Perhaps one of the most impressive breakthroughs is the integration of vision and language. To create vision language models, VLNs in short. These robots are not just moving objects around, they are understanding commands in context. With RT2X, robots are beginning to understand these complex instructions just as humans do. The RTX project is setting the stage for robots to work in more dynamic and unpredictable environments. So, when will you have a robot that can clean, organize, and maybe even cook? It is coming sooner than you think, thanks to the RTX project. Thanks for watching. If you are as excited as I am about the future of robotics, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more insights. See you in the next one.